right, ladies and gentlemen of Brewski Ball, uh, we have a very special guest in the house this evening. Uh, Ted Carmel was in fact conceived by human beings. I know many people disagree. On that pool table. On that pool table. And uh, that man, that man who we give credit to for conceiving Ted Carmel is here tonight. And Tina. T Tony Carmel. <laughs> What's up, Tony? So, oh, oh, so Tony, Tina is also yours? Tony and Tina. Ted and Tina. Ted and Tony. <laughs> Where is she? Is this Tina? Tina right here? Tina. 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 Yeah. All right. I'm here with Tony Carmel, the father of Ted and Tina Carmel. Tony, what do you think of the new Brewski Ball Miller High Life Stadium? Love it. Love it. Very, uh, very fan friendly. Very fan friendly. Yeah, and everybody can mingle. Everybody can touch each other. It's great. It's great. It's what do great. you think? What do you think of the new food? I haven't had any yet, but I heard it's great. And I remember there's two people laying down in the corner there that I saw I had some. So, your son Ted Carmel, yes. off to a rocky start. He's through five frames. Hasn't rolled a full circle yet. Right. What, what do you say to him right now? Valley him. Um, so Ted Carmel won the first ever Brewski mug back in season one. Really? Yes. And uh, I wanted to know, where does he get these great rolling jeans? Did you ever play competitive professional ski ball? Never, never did. I wanted to. The league disbanded before I was able to get my first nine balls. <laughs> you got eight balls. They disbanded midway through the frame. It was never the same after that. Ted Carmel, let me ask you a question. Yeah. You come in on league nights, and uh, you know people are afraid of you. Um, and afraid of me. They're, they're, they're afraid of you for all the wrong reasons. You're actually a nice guy, um, but you, you hold yourself in, in a certain way when you're at the lanes, as if to say to somebody, "Don't look at me, don't talk to me, don't touch me, or I'm going to punch you in the face." And. Uh, <laughs> Open hand, though. Open hand. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. What were you saying? <laughs> I was saying you hold yourself in a certain way that seems to tell people that they can't look at you or touch you or talk to you or you'll punch them in the face. I don't know what about me says, says that to them. Ridiculous. People need to relax around here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of Brewski Ball, I have a very good feeling that Ted Carmel is going to have an exceptional role right now. Why? Because he just smacked me in across the face. And uh, that was the first time he's ever attacked someone here in the new Brewski Ball Miller Highlight Arena. And I think he needed to get it out of his system. Let's see what happens. sum up um, your your sentiments towards your son. He's great, but he's, he's not quite the son that you really wanted. <laughs> Almost there, right? No, he's, he's never there. good enough. No, no, he's there. He's there. Uh, that's a nice moment. That's a nice Steve moment. Home, bringing families together. There he is, Tony, congratulating his son, Ted, with a fist pound. There it is. An explosion. Ski ball's all about. Ted, let me ask you. You're rolling tonight for the first time in the new Miller High Life Brewski Ball Stadium, but that's really not what's going on inside, is it? You're rolling for the first time tonight in front of your, your hero, your mentor, and your father, Tony Carmel. 
I mean, what's more important to you, the new stadium or the fact that your father is here, finally was able to make it to the States? <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, Roy!